came up with a new technique for finding the Atlantic mole crab. What you do is, regardless of water, waves coming through or not, now watch. Put your hand down, let the water come through so the sand is looser. Pinch around, you feel one, you pull them right up. Easiest way to uh, harvest mole crabs ever. Okay, guys, that is a true sand flea. That's not a mole crab. <laughs> That's a sand flea. Let's film him since we're here. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Hey, guys, check it out. This is a sand flea. See how it's got those multiple segments and stuff? This is what a lot of people call mole crabs, which are these guys. But really, this is a mole crab, an Atlantic mole crab. This is a sand flea. Okay, guys? So, pretty cool. Do I let it go? What? Do I let it go? Okay. Let's see how it goes. I don't even know what these guys act like. Oh, that was cool. That I didn't film it. It was like. Back legs. Back though. He's the king. So guys, see the little eye stalks? Check out those eye stalks, all right? Tiny little eye stalks in the end of this mole crab. This is an Atlantic mole crab. This is a, a female. One, you can tell by her size. She's got this beautiful pinkish color on her too, by the way. Look at that. And she's got eggs, okay? I'm going to ask Joe to help me lift that tail up so I can show the eggs. So hold on a second. Okay, bend that tail back so we can show the eggs. Other side. Oh, I'm sorry. Underneath that should be a bunch of orange eggs. There is her eggs. Okay? So that's proof that this is a female. So in the summer, they come up here and they do a lot of stuff. In the fall, these guys will just take off, go back into the deeper water, where the cold water and harsh conditions don't beat them up. There's a male in there. See that little small one? That's most likely a male, and that other small one in there is a male. Oh, that is, there's a small one in there in the corner. See it? In the corner there? Uh, the cool thing about these guys, though, is they like to hang out in the surf here, in the, where the waves smash into the ground, and liquefy, there's a male, a young male, and uh, where the waves liquefy the sand. And these guys have to orient themselves so that their head is facing, I believe, away from the water. It's either that or the other way around. If they're not correctly oriented or they're perpendicular to the waves, um, predators pretty much pick them off. So they have to be facing the right way each time the wave goes out. It's very vulnerable otherwise. These guys will filter feed. Um, they also need that liquefied sand so they can burrow real fast into it. And they practically swim through that liquefied sand. It's really cool stuff. There you go. Look at all those eggs, guys. Okay, so I'm going to try to show you with this little male here what I was talking about, about how they burrow into that liquefied sand, okay? If I just have an opportunity to do so and actually make it so you can see it. Right here. And that. 